on pay entry, which is that middle action. So see the blue words under actions? On the right hand side. There you go. We're gonna do oh, pay entry. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay. Nice. Nice. Perfect. Click on that. Okay. Okay. So now we're gonna um, scroll down and so there everybody's in here by alphabetical order, but you'll notice okay. on the on the spreadsheet that you printed out, you've got the SLPs, our clinic on top, and the content team down below. So you can do this in any order that you want. Um, Emily, Avalon is not working for us anymore, so you're not going to have any time for her. The employees, which are Mark and Ashley and Mary and Beth and me, you won't have to do anything for us. It's the contractors that you're going to add time for, which, are okay. on, which is on this um, spreadsheet. So okay. um, you can do it as you're going down the spreadsheet if you want. And then go back and recheck it. So if you want, go down the list till you find Burley. Okay. And click on her. And then scroll down a little bit. All right. Do you see where it says edit, delete? Yes. We're going to click edit. And you're going to add, and you're going to click on hours. And you're going to, looks like she did 9.75. So you just put in 9.75 and click okay. save. And it will calculate her rate for her. If you ever want to know what their rate is, if you scroll up, see there it says Sarah Burley base is rate is 60. So she's getting 60 times the 9.75. Okay. Okay. Um, next one down is Kaplan. So you scroll down to you find okay. Kaplan mm -hmm. on the left hand side. Um, is that what oh, what is they said it's K A P. So I'm going, I'm going to the next one on the on the top of the list. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you click on edit. Looks like hers were two. She had two hours. And then you click save. Perfect. Yeah. Next one down is cats. It looks like she had 7.75. And click save. Now she, now scroll up just a little bit. Now she also does our book, some of our bookkeeping for us. So what okay. you're going to do is you're going to click on add paycheck because on this sheet under accounting hours, she did 14 hours for us. So you're going to add a paycheck. So paycheck one is going to be what you put in, the 7.75 hours. Now oh, you're going to add I see. I, yep. I see. I was just trying to find it also on, um, on the spreadsheet. Yep. On the spreadsheet. Okay. And so, so, you, cats, so you click sorry, add I'm, paycheck. There's a box that says add paycheck right um, oh, there. Yep. So this is paycheck two. So you're going to click edit. It's a regular, these are regular hours, so you're going to click edit. And then for, you're just going to put the amount in for this because she's at a $60 rate, but we don't pay her that for the accounting. So we're just going to put so, in a flat amount for her. So her, so, okay. yeah, so under for amount, it's 420 Okay. Now you can't mess up. So like, say you decide you don't put in hours for... Shannon or Allison or Sarah, you put in the amount, it's still going to pay them the right amount. But I'm, I'm trying to put the hours in. So if we want to go back and look and see how many hours people worked, we'll have that information. It's not a huge now, deal. How will I, uh, I'm just worried I won't remember. So just now for this one, when we put 420 and we didn't put hours, what if I would have put in 14 hours instead of the 420? It would calculate her at 14 hours times 60. And we don't want that. Mm -hmm. Cause we're, so I'll just make sure that the numbers match up. Yeah. I so, guess what I'm asking is how, I'm wondering how I can remember that I didn't do hours for that one person. So that, number one, I'm taping this so that you can watch it again. Okay. Number two, I'm going to do the payrolls with you for a while. So okay. I won't just like send you off on it next time. It took me a while to get used to all of this. Um, I just remember, I just wondered if there was a special code or something, or you just know it because that's what you I just do. know it. Um, okay. What we can do is we can highlight 
on the next time sheet, we can highlight the amount, we can highlight the hours. So you'll know, okay, for these I put in hours and these I put in, yeah. 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 So awesome. when you want to look back at her, if you scroll up just a little bit, just a tad, mm -hmm. see paycheck two is 420. And then if you go click on paychecks on the left-hand side, um, right there, and see the drop down next to paychecks? Oh, yes. If you go to paycheck one, Oh, and that's 7.75. Okay. So you can see, oh, yeah, I put 7.75 hours, and then I put in an amount of 420. Because if you see at the top, her base pay is $60 an hour, mm -hmm. and we're paying her that for therapy, but we're not paying that much for accounting. Right. So. And I would notice if the numbers were off. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, was this before 20? Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, next one down is Mueller, M-U-H-L-E-R. And so she's going to be hourly. Yep. And then Shelton is the last SLP. So you have to edit. You have to click edit first. Oh. I try that too. I'm like, why does it not work? And then I realize, oh, I didn't click edit. <laughs> Which is good to know because yeah. I have to be intentional. Okay. So we got all the SLP hours in and we've put Shannon's accounting hours in. So the next is the content team. So the first one is Breck Beal. Could you do you buy hours? Yeah, I go ahead and put in hours for them. They're paid $15 an hour for content. And we have a cap um, of 15 hours for the pay period, I think, for everybody. Although some people are allowed to work a little bit more. We put a cap on during COVID just so we didn't overspend. Oh, um, good idea. Okay, everything's good there. That was one of the there. questions I was going to ask you. Teresa's zero, so you don't have oh. to worry about her. Yeah. She's taking the summer off. Leanne. Leanne is $17 an hour because she's the manager. So you'll click edit and you'll put in nine hours for her. All right. Yeah, Ryan's allowed to work a little bit more because she's tagging words for books, so... I have never seen Ryan spell like that. I haven't either. And I was I was saying Rianne, and then I, I saw some movie or something where the lead character was Ryan with an I. I'm like, oh, that must be Ryan. Okay, Jennifer hasn't done anything, has she? Oh, no. Nope. She's zero. So the next one is O'Hearn is the last one. Oh, yeah, you. Okay. okay. Perfect. So now what I like to do is go back through and check and make sure I did. So now I just go down the list. So I start with Avalon at the top and I just work my way down, make sure she's zero. Yep. You don't have to do Alexander Mark because he's on a, he's a, an employee. Breck Beals 15. Yep. Sarah's 9.75. And I check the, I put little boxes in there. So you can check them if you want. However you want to do it, it's up to you. Oh, I see. Okay, I'll do that on the left hand. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You do it however you want. It's just there. If well, you want the boxes it. make sense. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now yeah. I feel badly because I'm one of those that always forgets to put my hours in. Um, well, you're going to be doing the timesheet, so that's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're going to be entering your time too. <laughs> okay, Ashley's an employee, so you don't have to worry about her. Frost is zero. Good. Harper is nine hours. Yep. Hart is 13.25. Let me take this just a minute while you're checking through. Hey, what's up? Hello, what's up? Really? Good. 
Ew, the ick. Well, Sam, Sam just finished mowing the yard. Mm hmm Oh, my gosh. Well, stay dry. Stay cool. Yep. Yeah. You'll find something down there. All right. I love you. Bye. Okay. Did everybody look good? Yes. Everybody was good. And Shannon had two. Let's go back and check Shannon real quick. Let's go to cats. Um, I always double check the ones I've done two for. So regular is 7.75, yep. And then click on second paycheck and that's 420. Cool. All right, so now we're gonna go up to the top. Oh no, I'm sorry. Scroll up to the top of the page. Oh. There we go. And see where it says return to payroll batches on the right? Yes. We're gonna click on that. And then you're going to submit payroll on the left. This is, so once you submit it, it's submitted. I think okay. there's one way to go back and fix it. Um, but I don't know what it is. We'd have to find out. Okay, so um, we have to scroll down a little bit. So it's it runs this audit report, and then we have to look at them. I looked at them, and it doesn't tell me if something's wrong. So I'm like 100% certain you did this correctly. So we're just gonna click on approve all. And then on the right hand side where it says submit payroll, there's a little box that says by agreeing to these terms. Mm -hmm. You're gonna click on that and then click finish. Cool. So I think what we're going to do for a while is um, you're going to you're going to do all we're going to do this together, and then when you're really comfortable with it, then I'll have you do it. But then I'll go in and check it before you submit it, and then once we feel good about that, then I'll have you start submitting it, and then I'll go in and do the approval and the final process. Oh, so you do not want me to do? You just need to get to submit. Right. Don't. Okay. But I think and for the next couple of weeks, we'll do it to get next, at least the next payroll period, we'll do it together. 